So here's a short video showing how I made one of my recent coffee tables. And here I'm placing some nice redwood slabs in a form. I like to place them in a way that's pleasing and has a good ratio of resin to wood. And I used uh, just a filler piece of wood there to take up room in the form to make the table the size that I wanted. And I chose blue for this one because I think it complements the redwood very well. The next stage is pouring. It's important to mix your resin really well, thoroughly, and not too fast as to not introduce too many bubbles into the mix. It's important to clamp down your wood or weight them down so that they don't float and they stay put during the pour. After pouring, it takes about three days to cure. And if you can wait a little longer, it's better as it gets harder. Next step is demolding. This stage is always fun because it's nice to see the reveal as it comes out of the form. Next stage is surfacing. Here I'm using my Festool 2200 router to flatten both sides. <clears throat> this process is always fun but messy. Here I'm just taking a, a look at it, see how it turned out after I sanded it. I used a bit of alcohol to see inside. And for this one I chose a small round over edge so that the flood coat that I'm going to put on it will flow over the edge well. And this step I'm using some squid clear fast. This is a bar top resin that will leave a nice high gloss durable finish. I pour it over the entire table. It's important to have a very contaminant free workplace and I like to cover it with plastic with a small homemade enclosure. Here I'm using a, a notched spreader to spread the resin over the whole table. And I'm just showing a bit of the color here to see how it's gonna turn out. And I used a, a small brush to make sure that the edges were thoroughly covered. I also used some painter's tape on the bottom edge. And when the drips are almost dry, I use a heat gun. And I warm up the drips so that as I pull the tape off, most of the drips come off. And then I'll just simply sand the rest off and blend it into that bottom edge. And for this one I chose an oil finish on the bottom, uh, partly for time constraint but also um, I think it leaves a nice uh, finish on the bottom. And here I'm just giving it a quick buff, getting it ready for legs. And here I'm using some nice black cherry that I salvage locally and I'm attaching with coarse thread wood screws and using some nice dark walnut wood plugs to cover them. I like to use walnut because it leaves a, a nice contrast between the two woods. And then after I <coughs> cut them off with a flush cut saw, I'll sand them off nice and smooth you can use a sanding block, but I like to use my um, power sander. And then I'll just use a little bit of oil to touch them up. Bring back the finish. And there you have it. 
a nice custom unique coffee table and you might be wondering that that edge that blue edge I put on there that's kind of my custom unique style that I do that I've uh, developed and maybe one day I'll share that but for now it's a mystery for you so there you have it nice curly redwood and <clears throat> squid epoxy coffee table Thanks for watching.